What's going on, everybody? Ian back with another video. Excuse the, uh, I've got playing the Star Wars game. I took a break just to make this video, so uh, uh, there might be some lasers and lightsaber noises over that way. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to, these are the, I'm going to show you the books that I love. These are my 100% uh, five star reads that I own, I should say. Um, I don't own all the five star reads I own because, or I have read because books are expensive and um, I'm poor. Uh, anyway, um, so these are the, up here are the books that I absolutely love. I picked them all out and threw them up here to make this video. I'm going to show you all some of the, the, these books and uh, hopefully you guys can get in ideas that what you want to read next. A hundred percent. That's the Ian guarantee that you, you should love these books. Uh, let's get right started. Huh? Let's get started. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> first one. This is the Pines Deep Trilogy by Jonathan Mayberry. I only have the first one. Uh, it is Ghost Road Blues. And the other ones are, the second one is Dead Man's Song. And the third one is Bad Moon Rising. Um, any, this is kind of like, uh, uh, Pines Deep is a city, a small, small town, I should say. And any horror novel that starts with, like, in a small town, I'm all over because I love those um, you get to know all the characters in there. There's not a whole huge cast, so you can kind of keep them all straight. Um, but uh, basically, this is um, uh, about uh, like vampires that invade this small town in Pines Deep, and um, it's got a whole bunch of like Stephen esque, vi Stephen King esque vibes in it. Um, so yeah, so this is Jonathan Mayberry, um, Pines Deep trilogy. Uh, next, we've got my favorite author of all time um, is Matthew Riley. Uh, he's got the five warrior. The uh, this is the Jack West Jr. series, um, and it's kind of like Indiana Jones on steroids and uh, with a little bit of crack cocaine mixed in. So basically, what you have here is the Seven Deadly Wonders. The Six Sacred Stones, Five Greatest Warriors, where's four? Ah, sorry. <clears throat> the Four Legendary Kingdoms, and then finally we have the Three Sacred Cities. He's going to go down to, I think, the second something-something uh, is coming next year, I think. So he's going to work his way down to one. Uh, but yeah, that's if you're into like Indiana Jones and basically blockbuster type movies um, that uh, you can read, I guess, some of the blockbusters, go and try Matthew Riley out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, I've got another book of his here. This is The Great Zoo of China. Um, this is a standalone book. This is basically, I think, Jurassic Park, but with dragons. So, you know, a group of people go to this amusement park that have dragons and shit goes wrong. <clears throat> uh, next, again, I only have, I think this is the second, yeah, this is the second in the series. This is the Grim Company series by Luke Skull. Uh, kind of like, uh, if you like, uh, definitely if you like Joe Abercrombie, you're going to like Luke Skull. Just that dark Grim War fantasy stuff. Um, this is the second one. This is sort of the North. The first one's called the Grim Company. And then the third one is called Dead Man's Steel. Um, and it's a little trilogy. Um, I don't know if he's going to go back into this world, but I loved it. Um, just, just I like this dark stuff, this dark uh, fantasy stuff. So definitely give that one a try. <clears throat> all right. This is probably my favorite book of all time. Um, it's not like an action adventure. It's just a, it's uh, it's by Fred Frederick Bachman. It's called Bear Town. Uh you know, coming from a hockey town, this kind of hits close to home. This is basically, um, it's a town in Sweden or Norway. I can't remember. Wherever, I can't remember where he's from. Uh, yeah, Sweden. So it's about a town in up in northern Sweden. And it's just uh, hockey. Hockey, hockey, hockey is the life of this town. Um, but then something happens um, uh, to a girl there. And the hockey town is all of a sudden what the hell's going on and uh, it's somewhat of a mystery I guess but it's just a good fiction uh, awesome just 
hundred percent five star. Uh, give it a shot. Um, uh, usually, Frederick. This is the only Frederick Bachman book I've read. I should read more of his, but love this one. He's got a sequel out called uh, Us versus Them, I believe, and I don't want to pick it up just because I, don't, I I probably will read it sometime. But this was so good, I don't want to. I think this should have just stayed a standalone. But we'll see. If you guys read the other one, Us versus Them, I believe it's called. Um, uh, let me know. <clears throat> All right, my second favorite series of all time. This is Faithful in the Fallen series by John Gwynn. Um, these next two series, if you're missing, if you've got a Game of Thrones hole in your heart because George R. R. Martin won't release his sixth book, um, read these and these will keep you all just entertained. Um, but yeah, the first one is Malice. Second is Valor. Third is Rune. Fourth is Wrath. Basically, this is the first four. <clears throat> uh, basically, what this one, this series is about is um, there are seven, uh, like, godly uh, items. There's, like, a cauldron. There's a sword. There's a shield. There's an axe. So basically what happened is um, the lore of the book is a long, long time ago, gods fought amongst each other on this banish, the banished lands is what they're called. Um, and then the good gods, um, the Ben Elim, if you will, um, they banished the Kadoshim, which are the bad gods, basically, to an, uh, another world. I can't remember what the world was. And then in order to close that portal, they needed these seven... Um, these seven uh, um, items, I guess. Uh, and then after the the portal was gone, they 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 basically put they hid all those items in our in the world, um, just continents away and stuff like that. Well, now fast forward to the time that this takes place. You know, obviously there's a king that wants the power, and uh, one of the Kadoshim leaders um, was able to infiltrate. Uh, his mind and stuff like that. So he's getting to do all this stuff. So he's got to go find all these seven items to bring together so the Kadoshim can come back into this world. Um, and then you have the good guys who, um, they're, they're, you know, the, the Ben Alim, uh, they come to talk to the good guy. It's basically good versus evil kind of thing if you're into that thing. And it's just kind of like a, who can get all these seven things together first? And uh, you'll have to read it, see what happens. It's awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, he's got the second trilogy that he's, or I think, it's, yeah, I think it's believe it's just a trilogy. This is of Blood and Bone by John Gwynn um, series. This takes place 300 years after the events of the Banished Lands. I'm not going to say anything about it. Just it's just a continuation sort of thing. Um, this is a time uh, a time of dread, and this is a time of blood, and I'm pretty sure he's got he, he's got the one I think it's being published now so hopefully that, that'll come soon <clears throat> all right on to the main event my favorite all-time series of all time I should say that was a weird word but whatever I don't care I'm not a wordsmith anyway <clears throat> we've got this chunker of a book but worth every every paragraph every sentence Every letter in this book is absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, this is The Five Warrior Angels by Brian Lee Durfee. Uh, this is the first one, The Forgetting Moon. And then this, the second one, Blackest Heart, and it's even bigger. Um, the third one's coming out, I think, next two years, something like that. I think he plans, I believe it's a four-plan series. This, it's so hard to explain what this is. It's, it's, it's the closest thing to like a Game of Thrones series, I, in my opinion. A uh, whole bunch of characters, whole bunch of politics going on. Um, action and adventure. You know, you obviously have a small, of course you have the, the tropey uh, bunch of kids who are destined for better things. They, they go on an adventure and then the bad guys are trying to find them. But you got so much other shit going on. Um, 
it's it's so hard to explain. Um, it, it's ba basically basically uh, the gist of it is there are five islands um, to make up this world. Um, I believe they're called the Source of Ear, Source of Ear, or something like that. The Source of Ear basically is led by a guy named Rigel, and Rigel, um, I think, like he believes he is the the second coming of their Christ kind of thing. He is the Jesus Christ of their thing, but he's not a good guy. Uh, so he believes the whole world should be his. So obviously, and these Source of Ear guys are amazing sword fighters and they're just a dominant force. When the story, this story takes place, um, four, or is it, I believe three of the Isles have been already conquered by Source of Ear and Rachel. And now they're starting to get into where our heroes are. Um, uh, with uh, we, we follow, I, think, I believe the main character's name is Nail. And Nail is, is it Neil or Nail? I, I, I'm pronouncing it Nail. Uh, and Nail is obviously a, like a bastard kid, you know, one of those tropey bastard Jon Snow type kids who doesn't get any respect. But, you know, obviously there's something going on with him. He's special. He's being protected by a few people that uh, treat him like shit. But uh, at the same time, they um, it's for a different reason. They don't want to call any attention to this kid. Well, of course, something happens and the attention is on this kid now. Anyway, so basically, yeah, so when our story takes place, the Source of Year have already conquered a bunch of the world and they are just making landfall on this island. It's just how these characters are reacting. Of, of course, you have you've got good guys on the you've got good guys and bad guys on the good guy side of the island. Then you have bad guys and good guys on the bad guy. You know, it takes place, you know, you know, some of our regional followers, you know, start questioning like what the hell is going on? This this isn't you know, obviously, right? And then you have on the good on the island where the good guys are, you obviously have some uh, fellows who, you know what? Rajel's not that bad. Let's uh, let's help him out and all that stuff. So backstabbing, tre treachery, backstabbing, I should say, treachery. Everything you want. Um, can't wait for the third one. Um, I hope this helped. I really do hope that uh, you all pick some of these up. Especially these, these up here. You will not be disappointed. I'd love to talk to you all about them. Um, can't wait for the uh, both these books to be coming out at the same time. So can't wait. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm reading now is the Mistborn trilogy, which is really, really damn good. Um, I've been seeing that a lot on BookTube. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, though that really, hopefully, hopefully those those books end up up here. Hopefully I talk about those in the future, uh, how great they are. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is a really long video, 13 minutes, like holy crap. So uh, thank you for taking your time out of your day. and uh, Y'all have a good one.